Hi, I'm Jim and this is JNR Woodworking. I have a viewer that has emailed me asking for help. He's finally going to put new hardware on his doors in his house or remodeling. He says the hinges, I found some really nice ones that line up. The doorknobs are what given me a nightmare. He told me the size he had and the back set that he had. I've got an old board here, seeing I don't have any old doors laying around. He said the, the hole in the door now is two inches. And these need a two and a half, or two and a half, two and an eighth inch hole to fit in. Now this will just fit in here, this particular knob, will fit in this two inch hole, but the back set is wrong. To check your back set, I don't know if I can get you close enough, put your scale or your tape measure across the hole. This is a two inch hole. So put your one inch mark on the edge of the hole and look at the edge of your door. This happens to be a two and one eighth inch back set. The new knobs will not comply with that. These are adjustable for two and three eighths or two and three quarters, whatever back set your doors have. Today, two and three quarter is more standard than the two and three eighths. Two and a quarter is not going to work we have to move this door over. The best way to cut this hole out is with a hole saw. That's how I cut them. <clears throat> but there's no hole in, there's no guide in here for your drill bit. So what I do, I've been doing this for a long time in house remodeling, I have a hole saw, size I need, two and an eighth with a steel rod, quarter inch diameter steel rod, get them at the hardware store. You take the drill out and you use the rod. If you use a drill, it can walk sideways. Drills are, the point is sharp and also the edge of the drill is sharp. They kind of act like they can act like an end mill. And when you're trying to drill a hole, they can walk sideways, especially when you're only cutting a little bit with one edge of this hole saw. So I take the drill bits out. I go down and get a piece of quarter inch rod. I put a small flat on the rod. I don't know if I got any more in here or not. It don't look like it. I put a small flat on the rod with a file, a grinder, something for this little set screw to hit against because this rod is going to be driving the hole saw. Got it chucked up in my drill. Now to get the hole in the proper place, I think I'm going to come over there and get a little closer. I think I'm going to take my stool with me. Okay, to get this hole in the proper place this time, we got our scale. We got a two and a quarter inch back set. I want to move that over an eighth of an inch. So put your scale across here. I'm on the one inch mark and a three inch mark. I move that up and down until I get two inches across there. Then I want to come over here and make a mark at one eighth of an inch. That's how far I want to move that hole over. Now I got a board that I drilled a hole through with the two and an eighth inch hole saw. I'm going to lay that on top of here. Now you can do this with the door hanging if you don't want to take the door down. Or you can do it on a bench. 
or a pair of saw horses. It's much easier on saw horses. You want to line this up. I don't know if you can see anything. The edge of this hole on that 1 8 inch mark. And you want to lift it up and down this way until this hole, the original hole, breaks out in the same place up and down on the larger hole. And I put a little clamp on there to hold that where I want it. We'll take this saw out of the chuck. Now if the board is laying down on a saw horses, it does make it a little easier. Let's put it this way, I guess. You want to drop this hole saw in the hole. Right where you want it. Now I have another board, and I've been using this for years. You can see it's all cut up, different size holes. You want to use a flat piece with no, you don't want it all cut up like this. Because what this is going to do, it's going to help guide the saw. And when it breaks through, it's going to hit this board and stop the saw from chipping out the bottom side of the door. I need another clamp. Now we're going to slip this over that rod that's sticking out of the bottom of the hole saw and we're going to clamp this. That's going to, that's going to guide the drill so it stays in the right position. Know if I can get you at a better angle or not. Now we're going to slip this through these boards and we're going to drill that out. There's what's left to the little sliver when we move the hole over. There's our new hole. Now if you notice, if you can see good enough, there's a little bit of the old hole left over here. It's not going to hurt a thing. And if we put a scale on here and eyeball this to the center of this hole, we have our two and three eighths. And the new doorknob will drop right in there. And even though the hole is a little bigger, the rim of the doorknob will cover the hole. You won't see that. That's the simplest way I have found over the years to replace doorknobs. I've tried rotary rasps, they call them. It, it looks like a hole saw, but it's got a bunch of burrs sticking out and you're supposed to stick it in there and go around to open the hole up and move it over. It just doesn't work all that good. This way I found works the best when I was doing a lot of home improvement and fixing houses. Um, it's just the way that I came up with it. That works pretty good. So John if you are having any problems or you're not really sure, send me your phone number and on my email, not in the box below. Send me your phone number and I'll call you and walk you through this procedure. Once you've done one of them, it's going to go like crazy on all the rest of the doors. You won't have any trouble. So, until next time, don't forget to subscribe. I really need subscribers. I actually lost seven subscribers between yesterday and this morning. Don't know what happened.
but subscribe it helps send my videos around for other people to find them the next one coming out is probably going to be the drivetrain of the turtle i'm going to rip apart i find nothing wrong with it in the way i check them i took my little uh endoscope they call it it's a little camera i can shove into the fill holes on the differential and check that big gear that's the typically the number one thing that wears out on them is that large gear that looks fine but we're going to tear it apart i guess anyway and hopefully between well, maybe this will be the next one. I've got a surprise video coming up that is totally out of my comfort zone. Let's put it that way. It is something that uh, I didn't think I'd ever show anyone. It's another secret. I do it every year. For the past probably 35 years, I've been making this. So you don't want to miss it it's probably going to be good one that your wife's going to want to watch so let her know that one's coming up for her and uh until next time work safe have fun and we'll talk to you soon